Hey, what are you thinking? Good morning, uh, Kent. Well, as you know, I don't have a high opinion of Brian Tyler Cohen. He's a very partisan uh, and unobjective uh, commentator. However, he made a lot of good points in what he said about the continuing uh, attempts to suppress minority voting and a number of other points. But, you know, what he left out and what President Obama left out is all the violence that's going on, which they're in denial about. You know, either they're purposely denying it or, or they're unaware of it because it's not getting much coverage on the mainstream media. Now, and again with Obama, uh, I thought it was kind of maybe a little bit of a off note there because, okay. because you know, it seems like the solemnity of the situation, he took on a specific partisan tone which might not have been the time to do that, even though, you know, it was a platform for him to get that message out. Um, and, you know, don't forget, uh, Obama was able to become president because of the nonviolent approach of people like John Lewis. And Obama, uh, I didn't expect him to speak out at, at this affair uh, about the violence, but I don't, I don't, I'm unaware of him saying anything about the violence that's going on, that, that, that people should not be attacking police, they should not be burning down buildings, looting and all that. He's made no statements on that. So in a way, he's encouraging uh, the continuation of the violence. And Portland, uh, he, they're not suppressing uh, peaceful protesters there. They're trying to protect the federal courthouse which is under constant assault. That's why they're there, there and in other cities. Yeah, but you know, they went you, out to the streets, though. I mean, that's that's a little bit controversial in a sense. Yeah, I mean, and we discussed this before. Now, if they were actually scooping up people on the street without probable cause, but, yeah, yeah, that definitely, you know, is, is a stormtrooper tactic. Let me just, ask you this before you go. What would you think about the your your leaders, uh, our leaders' uh, memo, uh, email about not a tweet about uh, postponing the election? No, no, I mean, uh, you know, what he's doing is, is trying to uh, throw that up as a trial balloon, and uh, that would be clearly wrong to do. However, Kent, I do think there's some merit to his argument that with this massive uh, mail-in balloting, it is open to fraud, but the election should not be canceled because of it, shouldn't be delayed because of it. But uh, don't forget, there is a sanction. Traditionally, they say, well, you know, there, there's no evidence that there's been massive fraud in the past. That right. had to do with, with the absentee ballots, which were very limited in right. scope. This is a massive mail-in uh, election, which, which I think is open to fraud uh, and deception on, by both sides. So he's got a point there. I mean, how big a point is it, though? I mean, how, how big do you think it I think it's a very big point because the mails could be flooded with false ballot returns. You know, China is good at hacking into this. Not, not that I'm accusing them of, of being on board with this, but I'm saying there's all kinds of ways to, to fake these mail-in ballots. Uh, you know, and, and with the mass, you know, millions and millions of them trying to be counted at once, there is no way to verify the veracity. With, with, mm -hmm. with the absentee ballots, it was much more limited in scope, and you could trace it down if you had to. But here, it's just wide open. So he's got a point there. But of course, you know, the election should not be delayed or canceled. You know, that's, that's out right. of the question. Right. Right. All right, sir. Well, have a good weekend, and we'll talk next week. All right, Ken. See you Thank then. Thank you.